On your mark. Next event on the track is event 15, the under 13 boys, 1500 metre walk final. Nice clean start for these athletes here. We'll announce them from the infield. In station one, Oscar from Diamond Valley. Two, Toby from Berwick. Three, Benjamin from Cranbourne. Four, Jet from Frankston. Five, Hamish from Doncaster. Six, Daniel from Knox. Seven, Marco from Berwick. Eight, Fraser from Warrigal. Nine, Max from Diamond Valley. Ten, Lewis from Warrigal. And in station 11, Rhythm from Whittlesea City. So we've got a set of twins in this event from Warrigal. So shout out to Fraser and Lewis. Fastest qualifier comes in Station 9, which is Max from Diamond Valley. Just got over the shoulder there of the competitor that got off to a great start in Rhythm. Then that second group of competitors is Daniel from Knox. Fraser from Warrigal, who is our second fastest qualifier. A little shorter of the twin. Oscar from Diamond Valley. He's a, with the number one on his chest plate. And Benjamin from Cranbourne in the white. So he's about currently sitting about fifth. But it is the competitor just down in front at the moment, Max from Diamond Valley. He comes in with a seated time of 7 minutes 53.30. He was our previous state holder in this event with our competitor from Knox. There you can see in Station 6. He was the silver medalist last year. So not a lot has changed. This group may, the order of that second group might change a little bit throughout the race, I think you'll find. But at the moment, I think you'll find our leading competitor should hold on to this lead and possibly extend it just a little bit. But not by too much, probably about a 15 second or so. So it is, as you can see on screen, Max out in front doing it by himself at the moment. Being chased down by his fellow competitor in Oscar. And Fraser there in Station 8. So you can see the clear skies here at Lakeside Stadium at the moment in Melbourne. We've got a little bit of cloud cover over the looking into the city. But some really great views at the moment. And just a nice mild mid-20s expected today. Rather than the hot, humid heat we've had in the past and also the torrential rain we had last year. So always a mixed bag here in Melbourne for you. But perfect conditions for events, both track and field. So just a reminder to people that are watching here, um, please be please be um, aware that there are a number of track events and field events going on in the venue. Um, we do only have two cameras, so um, we do our best to provide you all track events, which are, are our priority. And then where possible, where there's a break in the track events, we will bring to you field events. But um, the potential to have four jump, four long jump or triple jump events being videoed at the same time, discuses um, on the infield, javelin. Uh, we've also got high jumps going on, but we've also got events on the outfield, which is two shot puts and a discus that cannot be covered. There's no, there's not sufficient opportunity to cover those. Um, everything's wired and they, you just can't get the vision on the outskirts of the track. So um, we do appreciate your comments and we appreciate your understanding in having family watch, but we'll be doing the best we can to give this uh, opportunity to you. Leading competitor out the front at the moment you can see is Max from Diamond Valley. Stretched out that lead a little bit now. He looks like he's got about a, probably about a 60, 55, 60 metre uh, lead on his competitors at the moment. With Daniel in second place. And Fraser still just on his shoulder. So just keep an eye on those two there. And I think you'll find then as well that we've got another... Diamond Valley competitor that has just dropped back a little bit now which was possibly to be expected a little bit. His seated time is a little bit slower than uh, those in front of him.
it's always a pretty good talent when you can walk around 1500 meters and still have an itch on your leg that you can scratch I think so <laughs> um, Max is out there doing it on his own so he's um, got a little bit of time up his sleeve where he he can potentially take a small break in this pace but as he comes up to his bell lap now, 5.25, he comes across the line in with 400 metres to go. And currently sitting in second is Daniel from Knox. Third, Fraser from Warrigal. And Oscar from Diamond Valley, shortly followed by Lewis, Fraser's twin brother, just behind him. So a leading competitor makes his way past the start line for the final time. And coming up with around about 250 metres to go. You should be able to see how he is positioned for a personal best time as he gets a little bit closer towards the final stages of this race. So you see come into vision there, a little bit of a tussle for that, those minor places here. And it does look like, I believe, Lewis has just gone past Oscar from Diamond Valley. So coming into the final stage of this race, we've got our leading competitor, probably about 55, 60 metres to go. And that is Max from Diamond Valley. So he's going to hold on to his title from 21. Unofficially. Comes across the line. 7 minutes 32. So a huge um, improved performance from his regional time. Second place is just held off again to Daniel from Knox. He's held that off from Fraser from Warrigal there. Unofficially in third place for both uh, for Fraser. Does look like his brother Lewis is going to make his way down for fourth place. And Oscar from Diamond Valley coming across in fifth place. We've got Benjamin from Cranbourne coming across in six. And then a short break before we get to our final competitors who have just entered the last two to three hundred metres of this event. Looks like we've got Hamish from Doncaster on screen right now. And shortly behind him is Marco. Uh, it might be Marco or Toby. We'll just get some vision. I think he might find. It might be Toby from Berwick. It is Marco just coming in shortly after Hamish. But with a really strong finish by Rhythm from Whittlesea City. I don't know if Marco has got any idea he's coming up behind him right now and he's going to get the shock of his life. And I don't think he's bothered too much either. Rhythm is going to come across the line next.
followed by Marco. And then our final competitor being Toby. Coming across the line in an unofficial 11th place. Please keep an eye on results hub for the official results to be put through after any disqualifications have been processed for this event. That is event 15, the boys under 13, 1500 metre walk final.